everybody, welcome back to another quick tie. My name is Tim Hepworth here with Fly Fishing Board for Outfitters and Thursday Night Live Fly Tying. We want to thank Western Canada Fly Fishing Guide School for sponsoring this quick tie and bringing it to you this evening. Don't forget, like and subscribe to this video. Hit the little bell icon, it's going to let you know next week when we have a couple more of these videos of these quick ties coming your way. Um, I am tying a fly tonight called the Damselfly Nymph, and this is coming out of um, Season 6, Episode 6, if you're tying out of our Season 6 kit, just like this. Um, you're going to want to go grab the Episode 6 package, and you're going to see it very obviously. There's nothing but green materials in here. It's going to be very obvious which one it is. If you're tying out of your individual kit, that's awesome as well. There's going to be uh, all the materials there that you're going to need. And if you aren't tying out of our kits, that's, that's totally fine as well. Just head over to our website and you can uh, access the full fly recipe there and still tie along with us here tonight. Don't forget guys, if you're watching this right now, just drop a comment. We love to know that people are watching this. They're uh, making use of these quick ties and uh, it's always fun to, to see you guys in there. Okay. Let's take a look at this fly. This is actually a very, very simple tie and a very, very effective fly. Um, this is a damselfly nymph. So we got lots of these in our lakes and ponds, some creeks and even rivers have uh, damselflies as well. Um, but I would say predominantly we would fish this in a, in a pond or a lake. Um, but yeah, very simple to tie. I'll take you through this. It's not gonna take us long at all. Um, but yeah, this is a great pattern. So let's drop this out. Let's get our next uh, hook in the vise. So we are tying this on a caddis or scud hook. And kind of the key here when when tying this in is we, we don't want to tie too far down into that bend. We want to keep the appearance um, of those materials coming kind of straight off the back. So we're actually not utilizing a ton of the hook shank, but the hook up rate with the shape of this hook um, is really good. That's why we like it for this pattern. So for thread tonight, I'm going to be tying with an accented red UTC 70 denier. Um, you don't really see a bunch of the thread, but if it comes through, it's nice to have a little bit of a hot spot on it. So we're going to use this red thread. So go ahead and trim out our tag end here. And then I'm going to go and grab a set of the bead chain eyes. This is what's given some weight to the fly. Okay, so we're going to tie these in, leaving just a little bit of space about a hook eye. Um, back from the hook eye is what we're going to leave um, in space when we tie these in. So as always, we'll kind of come in with a little cross wrap in one direction, cross wrap in the other direction, kind of hold them in place, make sure they're right up on top, about as even as possible. And once you get them semi-secure like that, then all we want to do is just whatever works for you. I like the figure eights kind of mixed with the cross wraps. And then you want to make sure some wraps go just around and under the eyes and not on the hook shank itself. Once you feel like they're good and secure, and start moving back down the fly. So I'm gonna leave my thread back up the eyes in a second, but I wanna lay a little bit of a thread base down into that bend. I'm not gonna take my materials that far down, but that's a little bit of hot spot that's gonna be left with that red there. I'm gonna come back up just behind the beads. Now, you got some of this beautiful rainbow colored flash in your kit. I want you to just go cut yourself about three pieces in that like three to four inches, that should get you a couple flies, having those three together. So we're gonna tie in three pieces of flash at the same time. Just gonna grab one more, line them up so they're even, like so. So I got three pieces here. If they're not quite even, that's easy to fix, just trim them off. Now we're gonna tie these in right up behind those eyes. So you can see I extended out over the eyes and I'll just pull that material back and seat it down. And then I wanna make sure that I'm pulling up on this material so that it stays up on top of the hook shank as we come back. And as soon as it starts to dip down that other side into the hook bend is when I'm gonna stop. Cause I don't want them to look like they uh, tied in and tipped down. So once I get here, what I wanna do is first cut this to length. So how I'm gonna measure the materials for this fly is I'm gonna think that it's uh, the tail to be one and a half times the overall hook shank length. So if I go, that's one here, take another half, and that's where I'm going to cut it. So these damselfly nymphs, they've got pretty long um, tails on them, and so that's what we're trying to simulate by keeping uh, that full length. Now, the only other material we're using in this fly is ostertrill. So you got a whole bunch of ostertrill in there. I want you to go ahead and grab between three and five pieces. So maybe I'll do four here. Grab four. Make sure that their tips are fairly close in length. 
because this we're not going to be cutting or trimming the tips so we want them to be about as close in length as possible so if you got to stack them to kind of make that happen that's what we want to do we got one that's a little long so I'll just restack that one and then we will tie these in together just kind of important that you take the time to get those evened up at this point because you can't really change it once you tie them in get one more back in here there we go so once I got those all together I'm gonna tie them in the same length as that flash so generally just if you add a little bit of moisture they should stick together you can get a general length on it once it's roughly what we're looking for is roughly the same length there what I'm gonna do from here get one wrap there measure that switch hands and we're gonna tie this in right on top and give my bobbin a little counterclockwise spin make a jump rearward and grab that material so from this point I'm gonna be palmering this material forward so make sure that that's good and secure not going anywhere I'm gonna to toss a couple of thread wraps on the underside and then I'm gonna leave my thread hanging right there now reason being is I'm gonna allow these um, ostrich hurls to stack against each other against the pressure of my thread as I palmer it forward so that's what I'm gonna to do to start let's go like this we're gonna start palmering this material forward it's gonna give a really kind of fuzzy and buggy appearance and you can see it's stacking those materials nicely because it's grabbing and pushing against my thread as I go forward we're just gonna keep working this all the way up to behind those bead chain eyes then I'm gonna hop my thread just in front and now we're gonna actually encompass those eyes by doing some cross wraps around them making sure we fill that gap in that space and once you're happy that you got some good coverage there then we're just going to tie that off right behind the eye and in front of the bead chain eyes lift the materials up make sure you tuck a couple of wraps underneath them and from there i'm just going to whip finish or you can half hitch the fly i'll just grab my half hitch tool here couple of wraps around over the eye and get that knot to see and I'll come in here and I'll trim this out and I can go ahead and trim out those tag ends and there we go there is our damselfly nymph Give this guy a try. If you have a local pond or a local leg with some trout in it or some bass in it, I bet you they will eat this fly. Give it a try and see how it works for you. Carp. Or carp, yeah. Carp would definitely eat this as well. Lots of a species could be tackled with this fly alone. So, all right, guys. This has been another quick tie with Tim here at Fly Fishing Bobber Outfitters and Thursday Night Live Fly Tying. I want to thank you for uh, coming and joining along on this with us. Don't forget to leave a comment if you are in here. Like and subscribe to this video. Hit that bell icon and we'll hit you next week with a, a couple more flies. Okay guys, till next week, we'll see you then.